represent Americans. And Americans want to stand alongside Zelensky and push back on Putin, but they want us to do our job responsibly. When I hear the majority leader of the other party say, quote, a time of war, when I sat with the majority leader in a rules committee meeting upstairs and he said, we're at war, and I'm wondering when we voted to go to war. If people, if we're going to have a proxy war and we're going to give $40 billion to Ukraine because we want to look all fancy with our blue and yellow ribbons and feel good about ourselves, maybe we should actually have a debate in this chamber, a debate in this body, because the American people expect us to do that. All right, Shalom. This is Har One by Yasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. When I say Ka Halayim, La Yahawa by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Harakah Kodash, Ma'amah. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, Nakwatim, and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Um, this is uh, Jeremiah 49 and 20. It says, Therefore, hear the counsel of Yahweh that he have taken against Edom and his purpose that he have purposed against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. All right. So they being drawn out into this war. All right. So um, we know the Germans were originally teaming. And um, but spiritually it's talking about who just uh, Edom. All right. Right over here in America. So they're being drawn out into this war. All right. And it says what? Against Edom. And America's known as what? Idumia. Uh, spiritually. So it says what? Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out, man. So it, whether America or ba I would rather say Babylon, um, you know, whether they like it or not, they're going to get drawn into this war. All right, it's going to be a world war. It says, "What surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them, man." All right, so not only is it going to be a judgment upon the Edomites, but it's going to be a judgment upon uh, two thirds in the heathens and upon the land called Babylon. All right, so whether they like it or not, they're going to get drawn into this war. What's called a proxy war, and a proxy war is when these major company, countries, they use gangs, they use uh, militias, they use smaller nations, smaller countries, you know, to go to war against another country. And that's called a proxy. All right. Just like you have your computer and you want to um, set up a proxy. All right. It becomes a what? It becomes an onion of different um what would it be called man uh when you got to change your damn uh your password i'll say that man you know your signal i forgot the name of it but it's been a while but um all right <clears throat> so once you you set up you set up your uh let me, let me look it up yeah there you go ip address all right um, your server, proxy server, or IP address. You set it up to where somebody was looking for your actual computer or IP address. Every computer has one. Uh, you know, you set up a, a proxy and they can't find it. They have to go through millions of different people in the country. And then when they get to, this, to the actual country or state where you're at, they have to go through millions of people there. And once they get to your area, they got to go to there, so they never find it. It keeps moving. It's called a proxy, and that's what that's what these nations are doing. They're going through proxies, all right. All these different forms of of war, but America is at war, uh, uh, allegedly, all right. I'll say, all right. But it's just, it's just what type of war? Right now they're doing proxy wars still, which they're getting drawn into the war. To, to fight on the forefront over there in Ukraine. Now they're talking about China. China telling America you playing with fire by saying they they will uh, they're willing to attack China for invading if they decide to invade Taiwan. China said, "Yo, you playing with fire." 
All right. So that's what scriptures say, they cannot be satisfied. Let me get this real quick. You know, because half of America want, half of Babylon wants a war and the other half doesn't. What's that? Um, let me get this real quick. All right. All right, this is uh, Isaiah 19 and 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. They shall fight every one against his brother and every one against his neighbor, city against city, kingdom against kingdom, man. And this is where it starts. You know, even in the congressional hearings and um, House meetings, Democrat versus Republican, so, you know, um, military industrial complex, and then you have the Pentagon against the, um, uh, what you would call the Republicans or whatever, Democrats. All right, all these different, basically a divided house. So the Most High is setting the Egyptian against the Egyptian, the spiritual modern day Egypt is right here in Babylon, America. All right, this is uh, Mark 3 and 26. And if Satan rise up against Satan, or rise up against himself, and be divided. So I can get one more. Uh, it says here, um, 24. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand, man. And we're seeing this place be it's divided on every level. All right. And it's the, it's the most high um, bringing his judgment on this place. You know, this place is the place of confusion. It says what? Then this kingdom is divided. Some of them want the war, some of them don't. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself, so they're, they're the adversary, and they, you know, they're rising up against themselves, and be divided, he cannot stand, but have to have an end. All right, and also Esau rising up against them, themselves, Russia against America. All right, and they both are Edomites, you know, Edomite countries. So yeah, man, um, we're seeing this place be divided against itself. And it says what? But it cannot stand. It's, it's, it's impossible. But it has an end coming. That's it. This is Isaiah 47 and 7. And thou sayest, all right, let me go up a little bit more so I get the point. Um... This is Isaiah 47 and 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, man. And dust represents being destroyed or confused, okay? And it says what? O virgin daughter of Babylon, man. So it's a pure, um, what you would call a um, reflection of ancient Babylon. All right, this place, America. Sit on the ground so it's being brought low. Okay. And there is no throne, man. So, all right, so that's, we're witnessing that happen now. This place being brought down as a kingdom, being brought low, being made a third world country, and ultimately the, the, the Lord gonna put the lights out on this place. And it says here, um, sit on the ground, man. You know, and it get thee into darkness. It says, uh, O daughter of the Chaldeans. All right, Chaldeans are elite bankers over there in, in, um, in Europe and over there in uh, team in Germany. It says here, For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate, man. So now this place is not being called tender and delicate rich you know and wealthy 
take the millstones and grind mill. I'm going to skip to get to the point. Um, verse 5. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, man. And that's going to happen literally someday. This place is going to be put into darkness. You know? But also this is spiritual. This place is being put into darkness. They don't have no answers. They don't know what the hell is going on. O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the lady of kingdoms, man. All right, the the, the, uh, the same, uh, the great whore that the scriptures speak about in Revelations, that sit up, sit up upon many waters, and that says uh, that uh, she shall have no widow. She shall become no widow, meaning she's going to always have her lovers. But that's not true. All these nations are going to leave this place. All right, they're going to side with Russia. According to Ezekiel 38, it says, What? Sit thou, as it asks, verse 6, I was I was wroth with my people, I have polluted mine inheritance. All right, let me skip down and get to the point. Verse 7, and thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, man. So they think this place can go forever. But even um, uh, the Roman Empire fell, man. But even though the deadly wound was healed, but this it basically was healed with what the revived Roman Empire America you know all right I was telling some Akim about this commercial I saw a while ago and it just it got banned so I'm not gonna play the sound I'm gonna just read it as it goes by all right check it out it's China it says China Beijing China 2030 AD why do great nations fall fail and you got Roman Empire in the background, the ancient Greeks, the Roman Empire, the British Empire, and the United States of America. They all make the same mistakes, turning their back on the principles that made them great. America tried to spend and tax itself out of a great recession. Enormous so-called stimulus spending, massive changes to health care, supporting the same bad politicians and crushing debt. In 2012, a man named Ron Paul ran for president for over 30 years. Ron Paul tried to stop the collapse of his country, but the media ignored him. Of course, we own most of their debt. <laughs> so now they work for us. Ooh, look at everybody laughing. See that? All right, cool. So I guess that was a Ryan Paul, Ron Paul, uh, commercial. All right, back in 2012. So I caught that caught my attention a while ago. You know, and it could be a campaign, but it's actually correct. China, Iran, all these nations they own uh, uh, major portions of America's debt. All right, I'm gonna read a couple of these um, titles from the news. Everything like a month ago. It says Russia warns two weeks ago. U.S. President Joe Biden, that alternative to, to 10,128 sanctions is World War III. That's the alternative. So they put 10,128 sanctions, I think, on Russia, and he said the response is going to be World War III. All right. Putin may officially soon declare war on Ukraine. U.S. and the Western Pray Nations. All right. So, yeah, man, um, it's heating up. All right. Let's see what this got. Let me use this as a backdrop real quick. All right. So let's get this real quick. It says here, um, that's right. Matter of fact, we get something else. All right, this is a uh, real quick Second Ezra 16 and 33. You know, with this backdrop, this America sending their troops all all over the world, only to get slaughtered, uh, ultimately, right in the Lord's judgment. Second Ezra 16 and 33. The virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms, man. All right. 
talking about yeah, basically young women, and they're gonna mourn because their men are gonna be sent off to war, to battle. They're gonna have what? Um, uh, what do you call that, man? A draft. All right. And their daughters shall mourn having no. Uh, the women shall mourn having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers, man. And in the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, and her husbands shall perish of the famine. So you're gonna have famine here at, at home, on the home base in, in America, and on, in the, and off, um, in the other countries, and here on the soils of this land, the Lord gonna have this, this nation, Babylon, you know, America, lose uh, the war. According to prophecy. All right. So they, they don't need, this ain't time to be in no damn army or military. Hear now these things and understand them, ye servants of the Lord. All right. So uh, let me get back to this precept real quick. Isaiah 47. And, uh,. I'm gonna start from uh Yep, verse seven. It says, And thou sayest Isaiah forty seven and seven, and thou sayest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, man. Neither didst remember the latter end of it. So they didn't pay attention to how the Roman Empire fell, how these other nations uh, have fallen in the past. And ancient Egypt fell, how Sodom and Gomorrah fell. These are all examples of the Lord's judgment. And and now uh, um, America is going to become that example. Uh, Babylon, ancient Babylon. Oh, so like it's a dollar of Babylon. All right. Um says here therefore hear now this thou that are given to pleasures that's all America is about pleasures man it's the United States a, a bunch of nations that united together the colony 13 colonies and such and, and became a melting pot through slavery and then, and then uh, people wanted to come over here it became desirable Something to wonder after, just like just like John the Revelator said, he wondered after it. You know, Cause, um, and now um, now it's set up to be destroyed. Thus saith the Lord, verse eight. Therefore, hear now this: Thou that art given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly, that sayest in thine heart. I am and none else beside me. That's that's what America's been saying, man. That they're the top dog. They're the peacekeeper on the earth. They're, they're you know, the hammer of the earth. I shall not sit as a widow. So you think they're going to always have their lovers, meaning these other nations, uh, backing it. But look at, um, uh, what was that? Uh, populist no I think it was 664 BC with Taharqua alright now it says here um, it says I shall not sit as a widow neither shall I know the loss of children alright so that's why they're sending their troops all over the place but they're going to lose all of it Right, the troops as well, according to prophecy, man. Now is the time to repent, turn to the Lord. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day, man. It's going to be too late. Especially when the judgment and destruction hits uh, this place, Babylon. All right, none of their troops, none of their sergeants and soldiers, officers are going to make it. Because this is a judgment coming on this whole place. And the only one that's going to make it is the elect, according to the scriptures. All right. 
It says they shall come they shall come upon thee um in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries. So it's being built up. All right, like a breach ready to fall. So the Lord is building up building up the prophet the, the uh the judgment as well as the blessing, the deliverance. And at the right time, the Lord is going to have everything fall upon this place. All right. Um, and, for, and sorceries, you got to look into that word. You get the word, um, uh, what is it called, man? Uh, pharmakia. And for the great abundance of thine enchantments, and it's all their false doctrines and demonocracy they've been pushing all over the world, Christianity. All right, and racism. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, man. They trusted in it. Robbing, stealing, and killing. Thou hast said, none seeth me. That's why you have all these damn politicians. All right? And lawyers. In other words, liars. So they try to hide the hand. That's what they call it, the hidden hand, right? So they say, none see of me, man. They do everything in secret with their secret societies. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it have perverted thee. And thou hast said in thy heart, I am and none else beside me. All right, that's what America has done. But they don't, but uh, the leaders of this place don't understand that this place is set up to be judged. All right. It was set up as our a judgment upon Israel. The Lord said what? He, let me go back up. Verse 6, Isaiah 47 and 6, I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hands. See, we came over here slavery. The scriptures say uh, uh, Judah and Israel um, it was in bondage together. All right? Now I verbatim. And it says, And given them into thine hand, thou didst show them no mercy. Upon the ancient hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. So going all the way back to slavery, they've been laying that yoke upon our nations. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. So um, so that, that system of racism is still in place. And they still um, hate our people. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. That's like in verse 11. Therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know from whence it riseth. And mischief shall fall upon thee, thou shalt not be able to put it off. See, they want to put it off. They're like, no, we don't want to go to war. But they ain't going to be able to stop it. The Lord about to force their hands so it can be their destruction. So they can be caught up in the snare and the trap that the Lord has set. It's called the ICBMs. And two thirds can get caught up in this sift, spiritually and, um, you know, through the uh, the MOTB. It says, "Thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know." And that's just it, man. So yeah, man, they can try to stop it. All right, yeah, like this eating my head. He want to stop it. He like, yo, can somebody tell us that we're at war? They're saying that we're at war. Woo. They can't do anything about it, man. So I'm going to end that one there. It's a little quick one real fast, man. I'm out on the travels. Um, currently in Tampa, Florida. So uh, looking forward to getting back to the Akim. And uh, with that, I'm going to say uh, shalom.